Hi there, YouTube friends. This is Lester Verano. I'm back. I have a tabletop product review for you today. And right off the top, I want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers who are giving the channel a chance. Thank you for the subscribers that have been there from the beginning, have stuck around. It's just a little channel. I do product reviews. I guess this one we could say that I'm going to do today would be fall under the category of lifestyle. I was motivated by nostalgia to get this product and I'm going to try to tell you what I think is an interesting chain of events that led to me buying this. Now we're here in October of 2020 and I haven't had a video up for a while. I've been going through changes and adapting to a new um, a new pace at my job, and so I've been using all my my power and my concentration for that. Uh, but I've I finally um, got a little came up for air a little bit this weekend and had some fun. And uh, well, this came in the mail, and I want to tell you all about it. I'm maybe maybe midlife. Um, I don't know if I'll live past 80 years old, so I guess you could say <laughs> at 41 years old, I might be having a midlife crisis. <laughs> if I am, I'm in loving the hell out of it. Uh, I had recently made a trip to my mom's house in Pennsylvania, and um, I went down into the, the cellar, and I had found a whole bunch of uh, sp sports cards uh, that I used to collect uh, that meant everything to me when I was a kid, probably between the ages of 7 and 13 or 14 years old. Um, you know, collecting baseball cards and basketball cards, um, some football cards and stuff like that was, was really important. Uh, you know, and I remember, I vividly remember times when I was a kid, um, you know, I would there be there with a, a, a Beckett price guide. Uh, looking up baseball cards to see how much they were worth, thinking I'm just getting rich buying all these baseball cards, you know. Um, it was a thrill to me then, and I guess at just some point as I entered um, early adulthood, it just went away, the bug went away, and I never collected the cards again. I even remember handing them all over to my uh, younger brother and just saying, yeah, you can have these, I don't have any use for them anymore. But something happened. I don't know. I've been to my mom's many times. I've many times visited the cards in the basement, and there was no, um, there was no interest. You know, there was no desire to have them. But something bit me. I don't know what it is, but I said I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start putting uh, a collection together again, and it was sort of. I think it was just the nostalgia. I just remembered the smell of the pages, of the the baseball card uh, pages like I have over here, which I'm gonna talk about. I remember just a lot of the cards that I had, I didn't open up and get out of a pack, um, but I had experienced the cards through other collections of friends and trading them with friends. So uh, it, it really all just sort of um, affected me, I guess through just, just the nostalgia of it affected me. So Vault X, let's talk about the product. What is this product? What is it? Obviously I'm talking about sports cards, so it's some kind of a holder for sports cards. Uh, but how I came to it was I, I started thinking, you know, I want to have, I want to go on a voyage. I want to have, I want to start collecting ball cards again, but I want to get like all the cards that might not, aren't necessarily really super valuable, but when I was a kid would have blown me away, you know? So basically all the stuff, the cards that I couldn't get when I was a little kid, I kind of wanted to get all them together and start a collection with them. And then maybe get some, you know, some really nice, val invest in some valuable ones. And then, you know, after I collect maybe about four or 500 cards that I really want, or, you know, two or 300 cards that I really want, 
stop collecting and just have the collection and enjoy the collection. So I uh, started internet surfing and I found, <clears throat> I discovered this little company called uh, Voltex and are actually in the United Kingdom. So kind of disappointing, they're not USA, uh, but they're based in the United Kingdom. You can get all this stuff on, you can get this stuff on Amazon, all kinds of other shops. Um, and they have all different types of sizes of binders and I found uh, the size that I wanted in this binder right here. There was just a couple things that I had to trade as far as what I was used to and what I wanted to experience from the past. I had to trade in order to make this my main sports card book. And one of the things I had to trade, believe it or not, one of the biggest things that is nostalgic is smell. And this has a good smell. It's great. But there's something about these old plastic pages, the smell that they have, you can't duplicate it. It's just something about them that I'll always remember as a kid, um, you know, when the neighbor kids pull out their dad's ball card collection or their ball card collection and they had the cards and these plastic pages man or when I had my own cards and my plastic pages it's just the smell there's the smell of that plastic is just you can smell it now it's just like a you can't duplicate it I mean um, it's only certain kind of plastic that smells like that and that is just part of the experience I remember that smell when I would go to um the Dixie Baseball Card Shop in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And that was just the smell of, uh, that smell would <laughs> throw me into a fever uh, for baseball cards, you know, for, for for Mark McGuire's and Jose Canseco's and Mike Schmidt's and just baseball cards. That was the smell of, like, happiness. Like, that smell was like Christmas. Like, you can't duplicate that smell. And this book doesn't smell like that. So that's like my one con that I, like one of the cons that I have about this. Okay, so I only have three cons with this book. I just want to knock that out right now. There's only three things I don't like. So I don't like the fact that the pages don't have quite the plastic smell. Like the ones did from, that I, like this here that I experienced when I was a kid. The second thing is this thing is, it's kind of like, it's kind of strange. Like the other option was they had a binder that had a band that went around it to hold it closed. And I didn't really care for that at all. But I'm really not a big fan of the zippers either. Because, you know, zippers break in time. And I always am trying to find stuff that's going to last a lifetime. Zippers break, they get jammed, they just uh, fail. I don't even know if this is a YKK zipper, but whatever. If the zipper ever fails on it, I'll be plenty happy with the book without the zipper working because the book will still serve its purpose, which I think it does. It can do really well, and that is to protect your ball cards, your sports cards, your Pokemon cards if you're a Pokemon person or whatever magic cards you want to put in here. It will protect them and it will keep them from falling out. See, these old school pages have top loading, they're top loaders, and you'd always have the problem with the cards, you know, if you had your cards in a binder and, you know, you tip the binder up or you bounce the binder around, you have you, you run the risk of the cards coming out the top and possibly getting damaged, which is, which is bad if you have a really expensive collection uh, or any kind of collection that you care about. So that's one of the benefits of the, uh, of the new book. Uh, the other thing is when you're dealing with a three ring binder and you have a, f a big three, you have a three ring binder and you got, you know, uh, 200 of these pages in there and they all got great cards in them and stuff. And you're trying to flip through your collection um, in a three ring, ring binder that's really packed, you'll get a bend. You'll get a bend right in here. You know, if you're not really, really careful turning your pages, you'll get a bend in here. You know, if you don't keep your pages perfectly um, flat um, on the back of the binder and you know if you get um, hung up you can 
bend here. And so whatever cards you have in this row, run the risk of over time getting a bend in them. And that's not good if you have something in there that you care about. So I traded, oh, and one other thing, um, with the um, with the clear, you know, the benefit of the clear pages is you can, you know, you can see the front and the back of the card, um, which is really cool if you collect like garbage pail kids, because they're really funny cards and you, they just have funny stuff on the front and on the back. And so with, with this book, um, you only can see the front of the card. You can't see the front and the back. So um, that's kind of the other reason. That's something else that I traded. So I traded the smell. I traded the um, the the fact that I, I can no longer see the front and the back of the card. And um, that's that's what's basically what I gave up for for protection. Um, finally, uh, let's just finally open it up take a look and see what's inside. So let's have a look at the uh, state of the collection, shall we? So as you can see here, we got a, we got a nice green zipper there. And then uh, it's got a rubbery feel to it. It's really rigid, uh, feels really sturdy and it feels like good premium quality. Uh, this is the vault, the Voltex is, this particular Voltex binder is, um, uh, they're one of their premium, it's their premium binder on the, as advertised on the website. What's really nice, what's really nice here is the pages are all kind of, um, I guess they're sewn in there. So there's no, there's no metal, there's no ugly metal binder. And the cards are side loading, and you can you can put a sleeve on the card, and then they still fit nicely, and they side load, so you don't have the problem of bending, getting corners caught, and ripping a corner or bending a corner, uh, which is really awesome. And then this this row here, the cards slide in this way. So there's no way the cards are going to get out. There's no way they're going to fall out. Even if you didn't have the book zipped up, they're just not coming out of there. And that's um, that's pretty much my collection. This is just stuff I I sifted through the cards uh, that were at my mom's house, and I put together. I, I took the ones that I that I desired to have, and. Um, and I've added a few that I've found on eBay. That's a beautiful thing about today is now, um, it's not like when you were a kid, you know, uh, you had to go to a friend's house and, and try to trade them to get a card that you wanted. Uh, now you can just go to eBay. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. You can go to eBay and just buy the cards that you want, um, that you always wanted to have when you were a kid. So, yeah. So I plan on filling this thing up. I think in the back here, I'm going to start a Series 1, 1985 Series 1 Garbage Pail Kid collection in the back. I'm going to fill up all these pages here with just some of my favorite um, my favorite cards of all time that I, that I used to see when I was a kid. And uh, that's what I'm doing with it. So for any of my subscribers that are out there that are uh, any kind of card collector... Uh, this is a really great little little binder, and I'm really glad that I could share it with you. And um, thanks for watching my video. I know it was a little lengthy, but I really wanted to talk about this experience, and uh, I enjoyed doing the video, and uh, I hope you got something out of it. Hope you enjoyed seeing the cards, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, and we'll have something new to review. As for now, take care. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for checking out my collection. Be safe out there. Bye-bye now.